भूल भूल जाएगा सो दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट लाइक लेकिन अब दोनों साथ होना चाहिए इस पार्ट में आपने उर्दू बोली है ना बस ये लोग सुनेंगे Thank you so much for being here. And what we what we are calling this thing, it is speak what artistically speaking. Artistically speaking. Artistically. Artistically speaking. Okay. So, <laughs> first thing first. <laughs> Aesthetic. The idea yeah, is the idea is I think what I think personally is creating logo or. register yourselves under some some kind of legal entity it, it is beneficial but in a legal sense well wow. so basically i think that you know it's 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 like in the way that you approach your own marketing right it's like if an artist is branding themselves it essentially yes it's about having a logo but it's about a whole idea of like this is this is how you market yourself that you're not just somebody out there doing stuff that if you're going to be successful and commercial then you have to make a logo and a slogan and a brand and all this kind of thing that that then you you basically turn yourself and your artwork into a product and then the product is what you sell to and which is the people who are consuming your art so it for me it's it's not so much of just like the logo itself it's more about like how you are approaching your interaction with the outside world so logo should relate with your you know artistic ability what what you have if you are a performer yeah. your logo should be a dancing doll or something like that na <laughs> yeah mine is the uh, huh, mine yeah. is the yeah, the, like the same as it, it's yeah. kind of cliche as well i think so artist is not not a company in, in your way or it should be a company <laughs> that's i mean that's that's the question is should right um i mean i i think that there's a lot of pressure on artists to to do that kind of stuff and to 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 kind of it's you know like do the branding basically whether or not it's it's you know registered officially or not but to just kind of have that you know the website and the brand and as all that stuff i don't i don't know if they should they but should they i mean i think that there there are some useful things to it basically uh, you know there it 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 does help in certain aspects for an artist it is very risky what we have already discussed this if you you know uh, ground yourself on certain color scheme or certain logo you have to do certain kind of a work there are many singers who you know uh, switch their their genre from soft very soft uh, melodical very country based music then or jump to you know that kind of genre she suddenly jump to dark dark kind of a thing hana montana turned into something very you know crazy kind of a mili cyrus so, artist <laughs> artist i think artist is growing day by day he's a human so he's growing day by day so with the passage of time he learned new things he want to experience new things so bounding an artist in into a logo it is it is quite risky and quite scary for an artist as well yeah i mean i just i think that it's very um you know whether or not you're you're officially registered or legally registered or whatever this idea that you have to make yourself into a brand and it's all about selling and product and all this kind of thing i think it's really easy to forget the fact that as an artist you are always learning you're always growing you're always developing your own style and learning more about your own style you know it's like um if all you're thinking about is what's my product and who is my target audience and you know like what's my logo going to be and what's my color palette then suddenly 
you know, you're basically, you've turned yourself into a business and as that might be successful, you know, for you sometimes in, in the market, as an artist, you lose that drive to learn and to change and to grow. And I think that, yes, as, you're, as you say, it's, it's risky because all of a sudden you're, you're a business and you don't have like that engine, the creative engine that, that is where you started from. Last thing, you have everything, you have entity. In, under this entity, or you are doing uh, choreography or something else for someone else, you are not expressing your own self. They are the other well, two extremes, right? Uh -huh. So I think there's just, um, uh, there's one very important distinction to make, which is the work that you do for yourself as yourself mm -hmm. and the work that you do for other people, right? So when you're talking about branding yourself as an artist, that's mm -hmm. particularly for the work that you are doing as yourself, the artist. So, um, mostly like the work that I do here in Pakistan is mostly for other people. So like I do my own work, which has my own style and my own kind of character behind it. Um, but it's not necessarily the way that I'm getting a lot of gigs and work and stuff. Like mostly what I'm doing is working for other people doing the kind of work that they want to do. Um, and so the, the me as the brand is not necessarily like functioning, but also like definitely what happens a lot in Pakistan is the word of mouth, right? So somebody hears about you from somebody and then they, you know, they connect you and it goes, it, it goes like this basically. <laughs> um, it, because a, I think it, it's, that, it's a loop, it's a web at the same time. It's a loop yeah, and a web it, right at the it, same it, time. Uh -huh. it's a it's a loop on a web at the same time yeah, the same there's not a lot of um there's not a lot of an official market for artists here in pakistan basically there's there's a few commercial places where you have an official market but mostly the artists are kind of you know they're not on the official market they're here and there and then but they're, but they're basically, you know, it works by social word of mouth. So it's a little, it's a little different. Like you don't see so much here, um, artists kind of doing that, you know, social media branded marketing that, that you kind of see in like, um, in other countries, basically. Most recently what we, you know, uh, adopt is stand up comedy. So okay. somehow we in Pakistan we are there. There are many good guys who are, who are doing this in Karachi, but not in Lahore specifically. I'm, uh -huh. I've never seen someone in Lahore, but in Karachi there are many people who are doing stand up, and they, are, they somehow they are managed to earn the respect and the money at the same time. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Jillian, for your time, and I hope to see you sometime else or maybe next week, inshallah. Uh, next week ish probably but yeah <laughs> thank you so much again take okay. care bye bye oh. bye bye